Hello, YouTube family. This is Professor Frederick Tory T. Green coming to you with another segment of Color of Truth as we unveil and uncover and, un and discover the real color of all truth. Tonight, if I want to take a chance to share with you about um, how many of you all like antique shops? Well, I like to frequent a lot of antique shops and I also like to watch antique road show and sometimes on uh, pawn stars where, you know, people come in and sell all type of artifacts and unique finds and, um, and an antiques, relics, things that are from antiquity. Well, the next time that you go into an antique shop, look for, and maybe you might can find, a boy bedstead. Yeah, that's right. A boy bedstead. And what is that? Well, I want to introduce to you tonight a gentleman by the name of Henry Boyd. And Henry Boyd didn't invent the bed frame. But he made a unique, sturdy wood bed frame that people were able to use. And it became a bestseller in the, in the late 1800s. So let me introduce to you Mr. Henry Boyd, this fellow. who created this. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful craftsmanship. And also, bad frame. Yeah. And he will oftentimes stamp his name the boy bedstead on the frame of it. So if you find a boy bedstead, you maybe have found something that is worth some money. <clears throat> Henry Boyd invented a bed whose wooden rails screwed into both the headboard and footboard, giving it a much stronger structure than other earlier 19th century beds. He used his carpentry skill and his new bedstead idea to purchase his freedom, watch this y'all, in 1826. In 1836, he opened his own company using his bed frame design as the foundation. Boyd never patented his device, but he did, he did try to have it pat protected by having a white man apply for the patent because during that time oftentimes we invented mostly everything that america uses today but guess what a white man would take the credit for it and take the patent and make all the money off of it while we didn't get any patent on our own creations in addition boy stamped his name on every frame he made to ensure authenticity to his clients by 1843, he was among Cincinnati's most successful furniture maker with a staff of 25 to 50 employees. By 1843, Mr. Boyd had made over a thousand beds. He had about four buildings, and I'm going to put this information in the, in the description link. He had four buildings. And he would and he had his own storefronts, his own parlors where he showcased his bed frames. Well, guess what, y'all? It was burnt down two times, and on the third time, after he would keep rebuilding, uh, the insurance company said, Guess what? We're not gonna insure it anymore to make sure that he wasn't successful. On top of that, Guess what? He brought the freedom not only for himself, but he brought his brother and his sister's freedom. 
And as you, as you discover further readings about Mr. Boy, he also was instrumental in an underground railroad where he built a under a under a, 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 a like a parlor or a, another piece to his house so that he can hide people that were traveling on the underground railroad or escape slaves and he can hide them five people at a time. He was putting in work, y'all. He was putting in work. And I just wanted to be able to share this with you because a lot of you all will lay down on the bed tonight. And as you lay down on the bed and you and you think about the sturdiness of your bed and the comfort that it brings, you can accredit that to Mr. Henry Boyd. Color of truth. Have a blessed night.